Hello everybody and welcome back to Wildflowers where I really really feel right now that this place is super coming together really really well really happy and today I'm going to be trying if Natalia is open and I can get enough money together hope I can we'll see um, I'm hoping to firstly uh, plant these guys and also um, sell enough stuff. Oh, and I need to make a loom as well and like, loads of other stuff. <laughs> of course I do. But uh, the one thing I'm really wanting to do today is to try and upgrade this watering can. I don't think I even need to... I don't think it's even that expensive. In fact, I think I might actually... Um... <sighs> no, I I'll do a bit of watering first. Got people saying to me, oh, when you forget to water in the morning, it's really bad. Ah. It's like, ah, it's okay. I usually realise some point in the day that I haven't done it if I haven't, or it's raining, or whatever. In it was, last episode, there was a lot of rain, actually. There was one kind of really bad stormy day as well, wasn't there, remember? Yeah. So all the stuff that I need to water, I've put up here so that it's like closer to the well. But obviously, having to refill my watering can twice every time is a bit annoying so i also want to go and see whether there's another expansion there's like a second expansion to the green not the greenhouse to the um to the planting areas i'm going to be quite interested to see if that's the case i obviously don't need it right now quite happy with where i'm at okay you have to go all the way around there do we that's fine but I do want to start to, uh, uh, I want to put my loom in and I also want to start getting more beehives and uh, like a flower bed thing going on so that we can get honey faster because I've got quests to get honey and things like that and I've got honey to make for my, uh, I've got to go get over the bridge and make my, oh, it's also, there's so much to do. Ah! <laughs> But I think anything for the festival at the moment is important because that's on a timer. Um, I already gave him corn, so we need to fit to visit Thomas for that. I need to build a loom. I need to build a bridge. But I think I need to just focus on one thing at once at the moment. So that would be the watering can. So let me just go and see how much that costs. Just to remind myself, I think it's 200 or 250, something along those lines. Plus the money to put together five bars of iron, I think. Let's see. So I need uh, three pieces of wood, five iron ingots, and 250 gold. As expected. So the five iron ingots I could probably get together. Right, so I need to keep five. I can sell the rest, though. So let's sell five. Right, so that's 50 for me. Uh, then let's head over to Lena's place and see if we can sell any more, because I need to get 250. So for, for today, my mini goal is to get the watering can up and running if I can. Might not be possible, but we shall see. And then my second mini goal is to try and get the planters in for the trees, but we'll see if that's possible as well. All right, so what can I sell? I could sell some eggs. I need to go and see my chicken as well soon. I've got two cauliflower. These are the amounts I have, and that's how much they sell for. Um, keeping my limes at the moment. But I could definitely sell apples and bananas. Yeah, I've got enough now. Perfect. Watering can upgrade. Here we come. And then I need to go and see Parker. And just uh, check it. Check what's changed since I put the veggie patch in, basically. It might not be anything. I might not be able to have more than that for now, but we, we'll see. We'll see what he says. All right. 
So, can I please have an upgraded watering can? There we are. Yay! So now I just need a silver axe and a silver pick. So that's ten silver ingots and a thousand. So it's a little bit more of a a hard a hard sell that one. It's a little bit harder to achieve. But something that I could do, but I think I might work on the bridge first. I think that's um that's next. Bridge, then pickaxe, then maybe barn, then maybe axe. We do it in that order, I think. Right then, let's see Parker and see what he's got to say for himself. Hello. Okay, so no secondary um thing there, just the tool shed and the mountain bridge. Now the tool shed is 50 wood and 200 gold. That would be really, really easy. It triples the space. Wow. Mountain bridge is 15 iron ingots. This is why I was getting so much iron together, but I think I would rather keep, um, get one thing at a time done and then keep going back into the mines than like never have the money for the one thing. So that's how I'm feeling on that one. I'm feeling okay I on saw that. that Violet's selling marigold seeds now that summer started. Oh, I should plant those. Did you know that marigolds scare off pests? Something about the way they taste, I guess. Hmm. So don't eat any. Are you calling me a pest? I think he might have low-key been calling me a pest there. Right, so... <laughs> back to the farm. Uh, I think anyway, yeah. yeah. Let's go back to the farm. And start working on getting the bridge fixed next. And... And maybe tonight I'll he I'll head down to the bar and have a chat with some people down there. I try to balance it. Okay, so I think the first thing I want to do is go to the uh, soil and see how long that's going to take. A uh, couple of hours. So, garden bed. I have the soil, I just don't have the wood. Okay, so if I want to make more beds, I need to get wood. That's what I'm reading from that. So that is what I shall do. I'm gonna need about 35 odd wood. I think I had about seven already. Oh, cool. Still got my summon small things active from last time. Perfect. I don't know how long that's gonna last for, but it's good while it does last. So if I can put another couple of planters in next to my house for the bees. And then I think eventually I'm going to just um, plant loads of flowers and have bees that like lots of beehives and they'll go really fast and I'll get lots of honey and I'll be able to sell loads of it and it's going to be wonderful. I had people in the comments like, oh, you finally realise that you need to get loads of weeds for this uh, upgrade. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so we've got 35. One more tree, I think, and that'll be enough for a few planters. That'll be enough to finish off the planters that I want to do for now. I'll probably want to put another four in over the next day or two. And they'll be, they'll probably be for, like I say, for flowers and beehives and stuff like that. Probably down the middle I'll do a row of like flowers, a row of beehives. Ah, oh, looks like the soil is done now. I have just enough weeds from what I've picked up today to make more. Getting loads of worms for bait as well, which is fantastic. But that will do for now. Uh, let me... In fact, I think up here first. I'm going to put two in that are going to be for flowers. And then we'll go see Violet uh, probably tomorrow when she's open again. I don't think she's open today. I don't have enough money. Oh, the, I always forget I need money for that. Every time. In that case, uh, seeing as I don't have... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Seeing as I don't have enough money for, two, for more than one planter, let's pull this one down. 
over here and stick a tree in it. I'll probably end up with more than one rows of trees uh, in here as well. But I can definitely put one more tree in and it'll, it should be probably the orange because I've already got a lemon tree. So I feel like the orange tree is the way forward right now. And so that will grow in 15 days for me and I'll get another lemon tree going as well. And anything new I see at uh, Kai's, I'll put new trees in. Because they are actually starting to make me money now, which is quite nice. Okay, so I'm going to head down to the... Could do a bit of fishing, maybe? I'm just going to head down to the bar, I think. I could do a little bit of fishing. I've got a tiny bit of stamina left. But I feel like socialising right now and saying hello to people, so let's see. Oh, I think I already talked to Parker, didn't I? Francis is here. I haven't talked to Francis today. Francis Cauldron. When I think summer festival, I think of a packed street, fried food, someone blasting reggaeton out of a window, ya tu sabe. <laughs> and most importantly, space for me to set up a cute little stall with my latest jewelry designs. But you know, Fairhaven's version is fine too. <laughs> I see. I missed Sophia there, but there's loads of people in the bar, so let's have a chat to all of them, except for Parker, who I've already chatted to, but Vanessa... I keep telling myself that I'm going to start running. It's so good for your heart. But then the summer heat hits me, and I think <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the day. Like, there's some things about her that are, are quite relatable, and then sometimes she just comes across terrible. I don't know. I'm not getting very far with uh, being friends with her either. Wesley, that bookseller from Milkwater, is my biggest customer these days. Really? I did see him in your shop, to be fair. What does he do with all that meat? Does he, like, feed an orphanage? A carnivorous orphanage? I guess fairies are carnivorous, right? Or is he actually a vampire? Dunno. Guess we'll find out. Hey, Kai. Ho ho! Sun's out, bun's out! Please don't get your buns out. <laughs> Whoa there, Kai! Oh, hey, I, I totally meant hamburger buns. <laughs> a sunny summer day is the best for throwing meat on the grill. It's meant to be guns out, which is meant to be like your biceps, isn't it? <laughs> Not your buns out. <laughs> a sunny summer day is the best day for throwing meat on the grill. Yes, I see. I see. <laughs> oh, I love him. I love him so much. He's so funny. All right, Damon. Hey, hello. Tara. Thought I might see you here more often now that it's summer. I was in here pretty often in the spring, to be fair. Working out in the hot sun would make me anyone thirsty. Got some cold brews on tap calling your name. I'll not be buying them right now, though. Casual friend. Very, very close to changing um, my relationships with both Damon and Kai. Um, I don't know where I am with Kim, actually, at the moment. Oh, it doesn't tell me here very well, though, does it? It's just like, are you at a full heart or are you at a half heart? It's like... It may, it's, it's deceptive because it makes you think that you're doing better than you are as well. Right then, I'm going to head back home. And head to bed. And then tomorrow we might do a bit of mining. I don't know what we're going to do gonna do tomorrow a bit of mining maybe i could try and do the shed upgrade i could try and make the loom maybe making the loom would actually be a good next one because it's a it's not too big of a thing to do um yeah 120 and three iron ingots i think we could manage that and then we could maybe get the juice press as well So I think a couple of things for my shed would probably be better than trying to do the whole massive bridge project all at once. So we'll do a little bit of uh, mining in the morning, get some more iron. Time for bed. Maybe try and finish off the mines a bit more as well. I don't know, that's quite a... 
Quite a big use of my stamina though, isn't it? Trying to finish off the stars there. When I've got other things that I need, I've got things that I really need right now. When is this festival? Two days on the uh, on the spell that I've got, and it's in three more days. Ooh. It looks like though my strawberries are on their way at the moment. Yes, yeah, so I can hand those into Angus, and my watering can is now not rusty anymore. It's iron which holds way more water, so that is going to be way less annoying. It does what? It waters two at a time! And holds four times as much water. Well, that's amazing. No, it actually does three at a time. Gonna have to replant with that in mind, aren't I? <laughs> that is really, really good. That's such a big difference. Right, um, before I go mining too much then, I think I should try and see if I can find Angus and give him the strawberries. Because I feel like... I don't want to hold off on that too much. Will he be at his bakery is the question. I think so. The bakery is open way more. Like he works way more days than Francis does. <laughs> Francis is like high value stuff, like low effort. Don't need to be open many days, but it's, it's precision work. Here are your strawberries, Angus. Aw, aren't you sweet. <laughs> you see what I did there? Yes. If you want a piece of the shortcake, just come by Town Square during the festival. Ah, so I'll get, I'll maybe get pieces of food at the festival, which would be quite nice, actually. It's great that Thomas is helping out with the summer festival snacks this year. He usually grumbles anytime someone brings up the summer festival. I wonder what made him change his mind. Right then. Angus is a little under half a heart there. Okay. But it's going up every time I chat to him, which is really good. Whereas, like, Vanessa and the school kids, the people who have one heart, that goes up so slowly. Oh, my goodness, you have no idea. Right, I haven't been given any money, have I? No. No, I haven't. So until some of my fruit trees bear more fruit or something like that, or I... I think I should make the juice press first, actually, before the loom. Well, either way, I'll get to sell something based off those things. But regardless, I need um, at least two iron bars first. So I think I'm just going to head into the mines, grab some iron, and then start building my shed out with various bits and pieces. Um, if I go to level 11, I can maybe find the thing I need, which is an amethyst. As well as finding the iron. Maybe we could do a two two bird, one stone kind of thing. And if I happen to find copper and silver, well I can just sell them, can't I? Because it's Tuesday and Francis will be open tomorrow. Wonderful. Boo. Not finding anything right now. Come on. Piece of amethyst. That is not an amethyst, but it's still something that I can sell for money, so great, great, great. Uh, there's one over here as well. I see, I've found topaz a few times in here, but not amethyst. It's a weird one. Have I found any iron yet at all? Yay! We've done it! Nice. I'm trying to start all of the uh, mine just in case that's why the door is shut. That's uh, just in case you were wondering what I'm trying to do here. Now I've got two left to do and I'm trying to find gems in all of them. So 12 and 13 I haven't finished off and I think that that might be 
It might be blocking, it might not. It might be just a general story stuff is the reason why. You never know. Coal and a stone. Yay! Go, Tara! Try this one. Nope. It's always good to get coal though, because I can use that for incantations like another summon small things spell. I think I actually have the seaweed for a speed spell as well. I just don't know if I want to use it right now. Because I'm a terrible hoarder and I can't just be like, I'll just use that thing. Yay, we've done it. Set done. Okay. Oh man, got stuck. So now we want to go to the next level down, which actually I might be able to... Or is it? I don't know. Hmm. I can't remember if it was... Yeah, I think it is. I think it's the next level down that uh, I need to get the set for. So just go this way. I think the doors were kind of equally apart, to be honest. Yeah, we're missing a sapphire and an amethyst in here. No, a sapphire and a topaz, I think. I'm all... I could eat some food to recover some strength. Or try again. Do I have any food to recover strength? What does lemonade do? Oh, lemonade's all right. I have to buy some more of that from the twins. That was decent. Lemonade's brilliant. Buy out their entire lemonade store. But yeah, sorry. I'm getting a little bit too involved in trying to finish off the... <laughs> finish off the stars and I'm not really actually getting the iron I need for my juice press. Distractions much anyone? No I don't do distractions. Oh there we are I've got the sapphire. Nice! Good job. Okay, so I'm going to head down to the, like, first level now. So I think I now have all the stars. Um, so I could... What I could do is try and head to the letter, the door with the letter on it, and see whether finishing all the stars for the levels has made any difference. Definitely do that. So I'm pretty sure now everything has a star on it. All the com collections are complete. So let's go and see if that made a difference. Because apparently beyond this level, there's loads of gems and I'm going to be super rich. That's what, that's what Natalia promised me. That's what she said. Natalia would never lie. Let's see. Ooh, fancy door. There's a note on it. I have the key to this door. I will return it when the time is right. Anonymous. Why do I think Anonymous is probably Wesley? I bet there's like fairy stuff down there and I need to know about fairies before like that happens. Probably. Oh well. Okay, so probably my best bet at the moment is to go down to level like one or something. And just get iron from there because it's going to be all iron there. Not sort of muddied by having copper and things as well. So, level one. How much iron do I need now? I need, I need money, but I think I should be able to get that tomorrow because, thankfully, it will be a day when Wes, uh, not Wes, when Francis's place is open, so I'll be able to go and sell stuff. So let me see. I've got five iron ore, so that's enough to make two bars. Two bars will be. In fact, you know what? I'm going to take another lemonade. Just for grabbing extra iron. Because if I could just get enough for... If I could get enough to do, uh, like... 
five iron bars. If I could get ten iron ore and make five iron bars out of it, then that would be enough to do, to do both things. Wouldn't need to come in here again until the juice press and the loom are both done. And we can start actually making some money. How much have I got now? Ten, which will make five. Yeah, I've got enough. Okay, perfect. That was a good day. So yeah, we finished off all of the all of the stars in the mine. Very happy with that. Don't know when the time will be right to open the mine. Can you open the mine cap? Oh, such a pretty girl. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe you can. Because didn't they say that the goblin that was fixing all the stuff on Thomas's farm was also a cat? A stray? Hmm. Might as well. <laughs> You still liked that, didn't you, kitty? Might as well give you back your present so that I get extra points with you. Especially if I think that you might be the one that opens the mine. Every chance. Now, I did buy some more chick feed, I think. I know, I know you're trying to go to bed right now, but... But Meg, we need to, we need to talk about food. There you are. Enjoy. I imagine that the more Meg likes me, the more chance there is of maybe getting a double egg one day, or getting a large egg, or a golden egg, or whatever like it might end up being, I don't know. I'm very happy with my watering can today though. That's fantastic. So happy. And maybe we'll have a few things to sell tomorrow, and that will allow me to... Um, Get all the stuff, get all the money I need. Is it time for bed? In order to make myself a juice press. So I think juice press first. And then as the trees, I think there's some stuff on the trees there now today. And my tomatoes look maybe ready and my strawberries. So yeah, definitely wanting a juice press today, I think. It's the last day on my summon small things spell. So does that completely pull up the tomatoes? It does seem to always completely pull up. You don't seem to ever have um, repeating crops. I want to get some violets. For, no, sorry, marigolds from violet, not violets from marigold. I am going to plant the lemon tree seedling and I'm going to move the planter down because I don't have seeds at the moment, so I may as well. So that will go to the other plot and it will go there. I can still water them and I can still, if I've got a double row, I can still do, do things with them. And then I could have maybe a, a gap and then an, a row of, or maybe a row of flowers along here and then a row of beehives next to it. That's kind of the idea, I think. It's going to take a bit of working up to though. I'm going to need more money as well. like. I've, I've invested a lot of money in things and I don't have a lot of money left now, so. Love this watering cap. It's everything so much easier. Right then, let's go see Natalia. Assuming she is open today. I didn't actually check that. Monday to Wednesday. So she is open. Just gotta wait. One minute. Right. So the first thing I need today is to get some iron. Yeah, I can get eight iron bars. I can sell three of them. I 
then I think I'm oh maybe some stone as well because I'm getting so much stone at the moment. Maybe I shouldn't be selling the stone, but I'll always keep a little bit. And if I need a ton more, I'll just go and mine it, I guess. Then we want to go to Francis's place because I picked up quite a few gems. I'm not ready for a metallurgy table yet, so I am just gonna sell the raw gems until I get until I get the stations up and running, because otherwise I just run out of money. If I keep saving things for when I can make more money with them, it gets to be a bit of a trap, so. Woohoo! Upgrade. 460 souls. Perfect. So that should be enough, actually, I think, for me to make both stations, both the loom and the juicer, I think. And that's going to ho hopefully make things a lot easier for me. And then the shed can get upgraded soon. I've also got stamina if I need something like wood. I'm not sure if I'm miss particularly missing anything. What? What? What do you mean I only have one iron ingot? I only sold three. Okay. Uh, I'm going mining quickly. <laughs> what happened there? I must have totally miscounted something. I think I thought I made eight, but I made four and then sold three. That's what I did. Because she loves can't count. Let's just go in at level one again and just grab one, two. Three. Four. Five. So I want to have ten total. I've got eight now. Two more. Okay, back to Natalia before she shuts, and then we'll go and grab, uh, we'll go and make our, our stations. Oh my goodness me. Once I've made stations, um, then I don't think I'm going to try for pickaxes for a little while. No, actually not. I will go and say hello to my chickadee friend a bit later. We've got limes on the tree, which is great. I've got a quest at the moment for limes. It's one of the mini quests. So we could do that in a second. And then I could start juicing anything else that I've got. So let's uh, make extra iron bars. And let's not sell them. Let's take them back. So I'm hoping by the end of the episode that I'll have a sort of a, a nice little bit of production going on. I do love that you can sort of just take this game at your own pace though. If I need if I need five weeks in summer, I'll take five weeks in summer. If I need six weeks in summer, I'll take six weeks in summer. There's my loom. That'll do. And here's my juice press. Now that's nice and small. Perfect. Probably have a few of those if I need them. But one will be fine for now. I'll just Keep it going. A fermentation barrel would really not take me too much either. Metal working table. Can't do it till I've got gold and I can't get gold till I get through the next stage. Um, a candle maker. Once I get more beeswax going, I think I'll get more honey production before I make the candle maker. The glass kiln might be worth making because I can make sand. Don't know where I, who or where I would sell glass to though. Or what I need sand for yet. So, uh, sorry, glass for yet. So I think the fermentation barrel would be a good one, definitely. Um, candle maker a little bit later on. Metal working table a little bit later on. Butter churn once I've got the barn up and running and the glass kiln. I could do, but we'll see. 
So let's have a look at what I can do. I can make apple juice. I can already make carrot juice. Oh, is it an immediate make? Oh, beautiful. Oh, how nice. Oh, this is going to be a game changer then. I thought it would be a processor rather than an immediate make. So we'll make some lemon juice. We can um, press olives into olive oil. And I can go and sell all of that. Oh, I can also put down some more... Uh, if I can get a little bit more wood, I can put down some more planters as well. And if Kai is about, we could maybe even... I've got any more... I might be running low on weeds at the moment. Yeah, I, I don't actually have enough weeds. I'll have to go and pick some up. <laughs> but that's fine. I think I'm nearly on enough. Uh, I've nearly got enough planters. We're not too far away from that, so... There's actually plenty of weeds and scavenger balls about, so let's just go and grab more. Okay, I'm just going to see if um, if Kai is about at the moment. So, Tuesday and Friday to Sunday. No, Kai won't be open till Friday, so... We can go and have a look for some trees and things at that point. Uh, I could go and hand my limes into Angus before I accidentally juice them. That might be a good idea, actually. And finally, we're starting to actually make some money back again. I'll have a chat to Vanessa. When Angus starts making fruity summer tarts, it's hard to resist buying them all. Yeah, you're going to eat loads of fruit tarts and do no running. I wonder if I could get him to try that new plant-based zero-calorie sugar sweetener I read about. That's how you keep the weight off. Yes, I see. Why don't you just eat sugar every now and then? You know, I'm not sure. I'd probably be fine if I did eat some. It just feels wrong. Yeah, weight, weight management is a really difficult topic. It's not easy at all. Right then, I would like to buy some flower seeds so I can get get my honey production up and running a bit more. So I would like to buy all of those. And a couple of sun, sunflower seeds. Lovely. And then we've got some other things for the fall and the winter. They, those all look like the turtle head, the tulip, and the snowdrops look like they're... Um, spring. These are summer. Oh no, actually, there are different backgrounds. Hmm. Winter and winter. Fall and fall. And those two are spring. I see. So we can plant those in a minute. What else was I doing in town? I was looking for Angus to hand in limes to you. No, have we gone past Angus's shop? I think we may have done. But Angus's shop is not open today, so uh, Angus might be in town. Angus likes to hang out in town. It's a thing with him. Uh, Lena, I haven't talked to you in ages, have I? Let's have a chat. Lena, the teenagers don't still jump over the bonfire at the summer festival, do they? No. I mean, Sebastian keeps threatening to build a skate ramp and do a flying trick over it. But I'm pretty sure Violet would confiscate his skateboard before he could. Yeah, that was a pretty dangerous, like, maneuver, that one. Right then. Um, we'll chat Just when I thought I had the refreshing beverage market corner, Emmy and Finn went and opened a lemonade stand. It's a really good lemonade stand, too. I had, like, 15 for, like, that much stamina. Amazing. Kids these days. Man, ruthless. I like their lemonade stand. Ooh, I think we're very close to being like good friends with Damon now. Or like whatever Beyond Casual is. Do I have any friends that are like, like maybe Natalia is um, 
three hearts. No, no, Natalia's two and a half still. Casual friend. So I think that means that uh, Damon will be our best friend so far. Wow. Didn't see that happening. I still haven't found Angus though. Where are you, boyo? I'll check the bar and sometimes sits on the benches at the front here. Sometimes sits on the bench in front of there, in front of the bar. No. In the bar? No. Natalia's in there though. All my bar friends. Love them. I always get so excited for the summer festival. Ukrainians have cupola night, which is pretty similar. My neighborhood in the city was mostly Ukrainian. Every summer we did a dollar store version of cupola night in someone's backyard fire pit. I love that they've got all of these different festivals from different places around the world. Who doesn't like hanging out around a big fire? Like they tell you about them all, because I never I've never heard of a lot of this before, you know? Hi Kim. What's up? You seem distracted. Ah, uh, don't mind me. Just looking at flights to Japan. Okay, so Kim is Japanese. We were wondering, we were thinking that um, Kim's surname, it would depend on whether Kim was Korean or Japanese, and we didn't, we couldn't remember where, which um, they were from. So, if Japanese, then I think Kim would be the, the informal name, and Izuma would be the formal name. That's what I think we decided in the comments. You're planning a visit? Take me! <laughs> Take me too! Not actively planning. I just haven't been back in 10 years. Wouldn't mind seeing all my cousins again. Right then. Have a chat with Kai, because I think Kai is like so close to changing relationship levels as well. Ah, that rancher guy wow. was super interested in the pro circuit contest I did around here. So I asked him if he wanted a lesson or two because he's new. He did not seem stoked. <gasps> Rude. Maybe he's trying to make a hoverboard. <laughs> Another thing people were saying in the comments that he's Marty McFly. And I was like, yeah, maybe Shelby's actually the doc too. That's why he's looking at skateboards. Okay, give Damon a gift, maybe. Maybe some carrot juice or some lemonade, but I feel... No, let's see if he'll buy the carrot juice. Maybe he will. Buy carrot juice? No, it looks like uh, it's probably... Need to sell it either to Lena or to... Um... Oh, we haven't chatted to Bruno in ages. Lena or to Sophia, probably. Do you remember... Going fishing for trout in the summers with your grandpappy and me? Or maybe to Kai, actually. Not really. <laughs> well, you did sleep through most of it. Those were real pleasant afternoons. Robert and me running our mouths and you snoring at our feet. Aw, that's really cute. I didn't even really see where I was with that then. Right then, uh, still no Angus though, so we'll need to find Angus. Key Lime Cry, 240 gold for that as well. That's, that's actually a really decent amount. Uh, hey, he's right there! Have you been in your house all day, dude? Here. Look at you! You made all my dreams crumb true! <laughs> I love his puns so much. Love you, Angus. Um, I wanted to chat to you as well. Hang on. I thought Chatting is free. Would be busy, but Marty sure seems to have time to spare. He has time to spare. Oh, yeah. He hangs out in front of my croissant display and snaps so many photos. He seems like such a spy, doesn't he? He's like... He's asking loads of questions about skateboards and croissants. And... Says they do well on social. I can't argue with that. I mean, I suppose he is trying to make his social media thing go on. That does make sense. 
maybe I should maybe I should make my YouTube channel in I mean if they do well on social I should make it into a croissant channel <gasps> whole new brand strategy <laughs> okay so can I make any more planter beds now I want more money no because I don't have enough wood okay can I make any beehives? I do have enough money, but again, not enough wood. Do we have stamina left? We do actually. So I could do a little bit of tree chopping and, you know, sort of finalize my ideas for the beehives and the flowers and everything like that for summer. And once we've got it all set up, it'll all be just really easy. Ten wood. It's nice having finished the mines. Like I've... I swear something sounded like it was going wahoo. Then maybe I'm making it up. Finally. Maybe it was Tara going wahoo. Thirty. Should we try and get? No, we don't have any stamina left, but that's fine. We can make some more beds. Can't plant anything with no stamina, though. Well, maybe I should just make beehives. I could make three beehives, and I've got some spare planters and things. And I'm kind of thinking, like, we put the beehives here. Or here, or something. Maybe there for now, let's see. And then I'll move some of the um, empty planters from up here down. And they can basically sit next to the beehives and have flowers planted in them. May as well do that because that will allow me just to water them straight off the bat. And then I'll have three things of flowers over here. Obviously, I'll probably make some more. There we are. And then I can make some more beehives. And some more beehives and some more beehives. So I can move the beehive from here over as well. Nope, that's not moving that one, that's... Don't worry, I'll get there, it's fine. I will get there. And then... Just for ease, I might move those up here. See, the problem is, there's not room for a gap, is there, really? And you do kind of need a gap, so it's sad because it kind of there's enough for two rows there, and then one row down there, and you've got a gap in the middle. I think that's about as as packed in as you can really get it, but that's fine. Uh, and then what I could do is have like a little bit of cornbread or a croissant or something, just for that tiny bit of energy that I would need to plant my flowers and that would start bee production up and running again which is something we haven't had in a while so how about i do two marigolds and a sunflower and then we can try and expand a bit later and then if i water the marigold in the middle oh do i not need to water them i do surely Oh, it looks like those beds had already been watered. Okay, cool. Uh, and I don't know if I can make any more soil at the moment. I was a little bit low on weeds for a while, but I think I can make some more. Although we are going to get to the point where we fill this whole place up. And when it gets to that point, I will reduce the number of um, composters so that I can fit more beds in. All right, time for bed. I'm sleepy. I know, I oh. bet you are. Oh, 
have a lovely day. Good morning, Tara. Right then. It looks to me like some of my crops are ready, so hops need watering. Oh dear, I watered the wrong thing. And the corn is just ready to go. And I'm going to try and make a fermentation barrel today, I think. Oh, when is the when is the summer festival tomorrow? Ooh. Right, question. Can I make some cloth? I can indeed. Can I make silk? Not yet. I need to learn how to harvest silkworms, I guess, for that one. Do I have anything on the trees? No, the bee the beehives are going though. Beehives are getting ready. That one's already done something. And those two are kind of waiting. I don't know like whether it's worthwhile having lots of beehives, whether it does increase production or whether it's more about what flowers I have. So I I don't know. We'll we'll find out, I guess. Um, no apples, no grapes, no oranges, and no carrots right now. But we do have some olives for olive oil. That is wonderful. It looks like I finished with something. Oh yes, um, for Thomas. Indeed we have, we finished Thomas's things. And let's have a chat with you. Little chicken. I don't know if I forgot you yesterday. I might have done. Regardless. You seem alright. Might just mean I end up missing out on the eggs sometimes. Two chicken feathers and one egg. No eggs in there. So, yeah, I guess. And... I'm going to keep feeding the catch, uh, like, bait, I guess. <laughs> oh, look at the head scratches. I have a strong suspicion that uh, the cat is going to be important for something, so... I'll start giving you milk eventually, but milk sells for quite a lot. <laughs> you still liked that, didn't you, kitty? Okay, so we're getting there with that heart. So let's head over, I guess, to Thomas's place. Oh, my summer small things ran out. We'll head over to Thomas's place and then I need to start working on getting the money and the stuff together that I need for the... Well, I could also check the beach for shells. Um, a really cool kind of need shells at the moment. Uh, Amira has been waiting for ages <laughs> for this uh, side quest. Oh, people are like, there's stuff over the bridge! Why are you ignoring it? I'm like, well, I have been over here. I checked out the lighthouse before. Apparently there's stuff I can sometimes collect down here and I just forget to, see. So. <laughs> so much so that there's like hundreds of shells down here. Yeah, okay. I suppose you were right on that one. And this is where the bonfire is going to be as well. The beach bonfire. I am done making cloth. I did it. I wove my own cloth. Well then, you're good to go. I sell mine to Kai. He'll take any dyed cloth you make too. If you want to make your own dyes and dye the cloth, you'll need a dyeing bath. Okay, I don't know if I can make one of those yet. Maybe you'll give me the recipe. Here is a blueprint for a dyeing bath to dye the cloth and recipes for the dyes themselves. The dyes can be made by crushing up the ingredients oh, in I a mortar that. and pestle. Okay. I guess you can have a couple of my dyes too. 
Thomas. Thanks, Thomas. Thank you for all of this help. I really appreciate it. I know. Like I said, I promised your grandma I'd pitch in and I will. Okay, so now we can have red, blue, purple, green, orange, and yellow dyes. And I can make a dye bath in the shed. Wonderful. Now it looks like I got like quite a lot of points with Thomas there as well for doing that. So doing quests seems to be like a huge booster of points, of heart points. Right then, so sometimes when Thomas is missing from there, that's maybe where he's gone. But I should be able to crush up those shells for Amira now. Loving how my farm's starting to look, though. It is brilliant. I'm just going to need a few more. Oh, is it going to tell me off about the... Oh, Violet has exciting news. Okay, we'll head over there then. I'm very excited to see what that's about. I was going to do something else. Probably make the dye bath. And then go mining for the iron for the for the bridge. I do need to get the bridge open. I don't think it's going to get open anytime soon. Maybe next episode. What's going on? It's to do with boutiques, isn't it? Because I've just got dyed cloth. So you're going to be interested in using that for things. Tara, guess what? I just got approved for a small business loan. I can finally open up my boutique. <sighs> Congrats, oh, nice. Violet. I could totally use a wardrobe update. I feel like I always wear the same old thing. I'm going to make this space a place for all your floral and fashion needs. Any chance you're growing some cotton on your farm? I need some cloth to get started. Say no more. Garden plots can be spared in the name of fashion. Ooh, fabulous. Ooh, I can't wait to show you my new designs. Okay. So what do you need? Five cloths. Two red dye, two green dye, two orange dye. Okay, let's go and make a dye bath and make some uh, green and orange dye. I don't know what I'm going to need for that, but we'll we'll try. We'll try for you, Violet. Because Violet's my friend. And also, I need to grind up some uh, seashells for a mirror. Lovely stuff. So I'm going to grind up the seashells first because I know that's something I can do straight away. Okay, so now I can see what I need for the orange dye. So I need um, two red and... Oh, sorry, one red and a yellow. Okay. Red requires clay, which I have a bit of. Yellow requires lemons, which I have. So we've got enough for orange. And then what else was it? Was it two orange? I can't remember what I needed. Let's check. Uh, two orange, two green. Okay. What do we need for green? Uh, more yellow. Okay. Blue requires tulips, which I happen to have kept hold of somehow. Do I need two green? One more orange. Is that right now? Yeah, I got all the stuff I need, except I somehow made an extra red dye. Cool. Bring the cloth and dyes to Violet. Right, so in the meantime, I need to get to the mortar and pestle. Oh, yeah. I was already on the mortar and pestle. I need to make two powdered calcium, which will allow me to finish a mirror's quest. We're waiting for the honey, and if herring happens to come my way, it happens to come my way. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's fine. Cool. Getting there with things now. So now I need to make the dye bath, don't I? So I can actually dye the cloth. Let's see what I need for that. Dyeing bath, six iron ingots. Okay, so really it's just loads of iron we need at this point. So I'm going to hand in violet stuff, I think. Uh, pop the fence there. Yes, lovely. 
hand that in and then spend the evening in the mine and see and just get as much iron as humanly possible. I so need that speed potion. I might catch her on the way out. Lovely. Yep. I got your stuff, Violet. Here you go, Violet. Wow. Thank you so much. Come back tomorrow. I've got a surprise for you. Tomorrow is the festival, but we'll see. Wait for Violet to set up her new clothing shop. Woohoo. When I was little, all the kids wore flower crowns to the summer festival. <laughs> it was super cute. You should see pictures of me. But I'm kind of glad we're not doing it anymore. I don't have to attach flowers to those stupid wire frames that never hold together. Okay. Heading back. Uh, oh, no. I need to find a mirror. Um, do you think if I head towards the doctor's surgery, I might find her? Or inside the doctor's... Yep, she's still at work, apparently. So... Claim my reward I'm for that. i speechless, but this almost did it. Oh, I'm indebted to you, Azizam. Lovely. And then what's this about? <laughs> well, I'm so glad to see you. I always am, of course. But I could really use your help. My clinic is out of cotton. Again. Any chance you're growing any cotton on your farm? Four bunches should keep me stocked up. Sure, but it might take me a few days. Okay, so four bits of cotton for a mirror. So that really helped. Really helped. Right, so let's head over to Lena's, who was actually closed today anyway. So maybe some more cotton seeds in the morning. Would be a really good thing. So for now, I just need to get so much iron for everything I need. For a dye bath and also for the bridge. So do I have the bridge here? 15. I need 50 wood as well. So I'm going to need 30 pieces of iron and then 50 pieces of wood. So I think two days worth of stamina would probably have that done. Things are feeling less difficult now. Like, the more stuff I'm building, the quicker the money's coming in and the less difficult everything is feeling. Which is super cool. <laughs> so Natalia's on her way out of the mines, but I'm going in. And we'll try and get this bridge fixed. That will be my next thing. So we're going to go in again on level one and just get as many pieces of iron as I can. <laughs> Oh no, I don't have... Oh no. Summer's more things wore off again. I don't know if I'll manage to get all 30 today. I should manage to get quite a few. And then it's going to cost me quite a bit to get those 30 made those 30 made into the 15 iron ingots as well <laughs> but that's okay if it takes a couple of days i might even i may even have the bridge fixed by the end of the episode but it'll certainly be done next episode even if it's not this episode um then we're looking at uh, upgraded tools and the barn and once i've done that i'll feel like i've I'm on top of things then. I'll feel like, yeah, okay, we're doing well. Uh, then I'll probably just quickly upgrade my shed. Just for the sake of it. Also, I am putting more things in the shed, to be honest. So maybe having it triple the size might actually be useful at this point. How much did we manage to get so far? 14. Oh, we're halfway there. And I've already got one iron bar. So we're actually not doing too badly at all. Wouldn't it be cool if we could get the bridge opened? 
But yeah, just definitely feeling like as summer's going on, the, the farm is slowly coming into its own. It's really feeling nice now. And like I say, I've got certain things that I want to do before I turn the season. And I'm nowhere near turning the season anyway, because I don't have the honey. I don't have the bridge fix for the mint that I need to get. It's across the bridge, basically. And we haven't done the summer festival either. I think when the summer festival is done, I'll feel a bit a bit happier as well, because I feel like this like this thing is kind of looming over me a little bit, and I'm worried that I'll miss things, and I'm worried that I won't I won't do all have done all the quests that I need to do, and la 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 la. Let's see. Right, that is all of my stamina used up, and we have twenty seven pieces of iron ore and one iron ingot. Which means we are one short. One. One short. Lemonade and carrot juice. No, I'm going to take a carrot juice. And then I'm going to grab like two or three more pieces of iron just to make sure I've got enough because I have enough now. So there's no point in me then coming back in here tomorrow. Well, unless I need more for the dye bath, but that should do it. All right, back we go. And that's one of the other really massive things that requires loads of iron uh, now catered for. So that's brilliant. So tomorrow I need to get all the wood together for the 50 wood that's needed, which I should be able to do on. I can definitely get uh, 50 wood on one round of stamina. So that's definitely a two day thing. And tomorrow. Should I go to bed? Yeah, you really need to. It's like 1 a.m. <sighs> is the harvest festival. So we'll see what happens. Like, I don't even know what's gonna happen, but it is, it is festival day. The festival is today. Head to the town set, uh, square, sorry. So we handed in all the strawberries we need to do, the corn, we've done cotton, we've done all sorts of things. Let's go to the town square. Enjoy the festival. When you're ready, speak to Mayor Otto to proceed to the nighttime beach celebrations. Right then, so I'm going to have a chat to everybody. Let's see what they think about the Excited festival. Excited for the festival, Amira? I suppose. I just hope Damon is sparing with the libations. <laughs> she doesn't want to fix all the... All the drunken antics uh, injuries. I don't have enough burn cream if too many people get close to the bonfire. That's true. Gonna jump the bonfire, Bruno. Oh. Happy <laughs> Seventh <laughs> Festival. I love a good celebration. Bruno can't even see straight right now. Fine day, eh, Parker? Always is. Sad that all that perfectly good wood will be going up in smoke, though. I guess so. Cameron, what have you got to say about it at all? What do you think about all of this? Funny custom, a summer festival. But then all holidays are relics of a superstitious, more primitive past. I see. The cake is good, though. There's cake. Where? Cake is Cameron's weak spot, clearly. So we'll give him cake when uh, we need to give him presents. Having fun, Kim? Yep. There's nothing I love more than forced communal merriment. <laughs> Kim's brilliant. I love their sense of humor. Woohoo! Summer! Who wants some wheat ale? Some wheat ale. And I have strawberry shortcake, Whoa. please. Angus, that really is a huge strawberry shortcake. Thanks. You get extra since you helped. Although, Cameron has been telling us that we really shouldn't celebrate the summer festival since it's a folk tradition. Time to put a sock in it. He says old superstitions block our way to the summit. Maybe this will be my last year. Yum. 
And then I need to see Thomas at the popcorn stand as well, don't I? Before we do anything else. Here's some popcorn. No butter, and we ran out of salt. It's great. Thanks, Thomas. Three things of popcorn. Yay! Oh, that's got caramel on it, though. That's all right, Thomas. Sorry, I keep missing with my mouse. I can't wait to see the bonfire, Sophia. I know. It's even bigger than the one Vanessa put together last year. Uh, not that it's a competition, but if it was, I would win. <laughs> all thanks to your help. Oh, yeah, I got all the wood together for that, didn't I? Marty oh, Emerson. I love summer festivals. Pigs of bonfires always blow up on social. Everything blows up on social according to you. So, new brand strategy is bonfires. Okay, cool. Why can't we have the summer festival inside Kim's store? They keep the AC blasting. Yeah, if you have a meat store, you kind of need to. The butcher shop is the most interesting place on the island anyway. How come? Weird. Right, so we haven't talked to those guys or those guys yet. Do they have a summer festival in Milkwater too, Vanessa? Yes, but it's far less charming. There's a big parade and a carnival. Just a loud mess, really. Okay. What a great tradition this is, Lena. Yes. I like to think my ancestors would be pleased that we haven't forgotten them. And finally, Kai. <sighs> I love a good bonfire. Just staring into the fire and thinking about, like, deep stuff about life. Yeah, like, Kai is, like, bursting for a cutscene right now. So, same with Damon, I think. So I'll have to make sure I go into the bar and down by the beach and things and see if I can trigger one. This festival is so fun! Eh. It's fine, I guess. You should have been here when my dad was mayor and my mom was captain. <laughs> that was a slamming party. I bet. Natalia, Happy Summer Festival say. Day! Of course, I like the winter one better. Well, there's no mistletoe in summer. <laughs> <laughs> she reminds me of someone and I can't work out who. Hey, what are you up to, Finn? Uh oh I have seen that look in your eye before, Finn. <laughs> it's nothing. I just... <laughs> put shaving foam instead of whipped cream on the mere slice of cake. <laughs> Wouldn't you just be able to smell that? I'd be like, my whipped cream smells funny. Why does it smell of, like, perfume? I don't venture into town too often. For days like these, well, I think it's worth the noise. <laughs> I'm glad, Shelby. I'm getting there with Shelby. Like, Shel how many hearts is Shelby? Because we're quite far through our hearts. Oh, Shelby's four hearts. Okay, that makes so much sense then. I'm so behind on all these people's socials. I'm hoping I can catch up if I can, like, start cooking them good presents and things. I just feel so, so behind. Okay, so I think we've talked to everybody now and we've picked up all the popcorn and shortcake and all of that stuff. So let's get on with the bonfire, I think. Well, let's go. isn't everyone just having the grandest time? Do you think it's time we head to the beach for the nighttime celebrations? I think so. Okay, let's all head to the beach. Let's all go to the beach. People are starting to head. Okay, cool. I thought it would maybe teleport us, but no, we have to run there ourselves. 
Hi, everyone. I'm so glad you could all be here. There's one thing I want to say before the party really gets started. Every year, the captain of the summer festival crowns a summertide star. The star is someone we want to feel special and appreciated. So, this year, I wanted to crown someone who's only been with us a few months, but has already been through so much on Fairhaven. Tara, you will always be welcome here. And I'm making you the Summertide Star so you'll never forget. Oh, Sophia, that's so sweet. Even though Hazel's passed, we're all still here for you. Let's get a round of applause for Tara Wild, our Summertide Star. Stop making a face, Vanessa. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, go on! Take your seat and enjoy yourself. Most people look very happy for me. Awkward. Time to light this thing. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay! Thank you, Sophia. Gosh, what a blaze! That's very on fire! <laughs> Is a bonfire supposed to be that big and, um, fiery? I guess that's why you put it on sand, but... Um... In any case, I'm so proud of this community for coming together for yet another wonderful summer festival. Ah, it's hard to follow in Mrs. Soft's shoes. What happened there? Where am I? What the what? What the what? Yeah. What the what? I have an inkling as to where this place might be. Well, it was all about fairies, wasn't it? The summer festival. So are we in the fairy village? Did, did I fall and it hit my head? Ah! A human! Whoa. Hold on. Tara Wild? Is that you? Wesley, are you a werewolf? I was thinking you had wolfy features. Yes. Uh, but, but who are you? You're familiar, but I can't. Green jacket? Oh, it's you as well. Oh, buckles and buttons. It sure is, Tara. Ariel, if this is a prank, I'm going to blast you. You think I did this? <laughs> I like a good joke, but I know the rules. Your legs are backwards. What? Witch, what have you done? She didn't do anything. I didn't do this, I swear. Sophia just named me the Summer Tide Star and I ended up here. No, we haven't called a Summer Tide Star here for generations. The townspeople forgot us long ago. Teleportation magic is advanced. It's not something a new witch could know. But if she didn't send herself here, then who? Again! What? Who were those people? Were they even people? Why am I... Marty was stood right next to me. Hmm. Suspicious man. I don't think anybody saw. He's making some weird faces as well. I don't know, though. Otto is still talking. Did time even pass here? Maybe not. And I would like to say one more thing. But it's entirely not beyond the scope of Otto to just not even notice because he's so self-involved. We must remember that we must all unite to keep Fairhaven safe. And that is why I am announcing the founding of the Fairhaven Culture Committee. The Fairhaven Culture Committee will preserve our history and champion our unique culture and values. Whose history? Whose culture? Well, I've run my mouth long enough. May the rest of the summer be bounteous, friends. Typical politician answer. Not an answer. I'd better go see if the coven knows anything about... Whatever just happened. 
Now the sun begins to wane. We celebrate nature's gifts and ready ourselves for the harvest. Farseer, uh, you know the Fey folk you keep mentioning? I think they teleported me to their magical village in the middle of the summer festival. I told you to pay your respects, didn't I? One of them was short, with pink hair, and another one was covered in fur. The third had, I can't believe I'm saying this, backwards feet. What was that place? <laughs> On some nights, the walls between the worlds become thin. There Shh! You won't be able to journey back there the same way again. Well, how can I get back there? My boat would be the proper way. Okay. But I don't have a boat. Of course you do. In the lake by your farm. It was Hazel's and bonded to her Aunt Vivian before her. In the lake? But how do I get anywhere from the lake? Always been there. You just didn't have eyes to see. Okay. Wow. Look for a boat somewhere near your farm. Farseer Shelby. So you're the Farseer. That means that you can see the future? When the need arises. But there's plenty to see in the here and now if you just pay attention. <laughs> you sound just like my grandma. I miss her so much. I want to do what she said and make things better between the coven and the town, but... I don't really know where to start. Ah, that's simple enough. You just gotta find a way into their hearts. Oh. Simple as that, huh? Here, craft this crystal ball in your sanctum. Once you've created it, you'll be able to see the heart's desire of any person on the island. Oh, well, that's gonna help hugely with everything. You'll need this crystal ball potion anytime you wanna use your crystal ball. Come see me when it's ready. Okay. To work out the Farseer's favorite food. Crystal ball can now be constructed in your basement. Crystal ball potion can now be crafted at your cauldron. Wonderful, that's gonna help so much. Right, so there's a few things uh, that I can do. So I need to check out Violet's new clothing shop. I had no time to do that today because it coincided with the festival. So I'm hoping that we can do that next time. Uh, we need to look for the boat. We need to fix the bridge. We need to make cotton for a mirror. Oh my goodness, so much stuff to do. Let's head back. If there's any moon flowers, I need to pick them on the way, which there absolutely are. I could maybe, I've maybe got time to look for the boat. Um, everything else we'll just have to look at next time. But this always happens in these games around summertime. You start to feel like things are turning around. Like spring is always a struggle. Start of summer is always a struggle. And then, then you start to build things up and you're like, ah, oh, it's finally starting to... It's finally starting to get there. All right. So, in theory, there should be a boat on the lake somewhere near my house. Hmm. I haven't even watered my crops today. Uh, do they need it? Probably do, don't they? Okay, that's all done. Do the flowers need it as well? Now that could be a thing. Yeah, they do. Okay. those sorted lovely right all done i'm not gonna worry about the soil i'm just gonna run up here and see if i can oh yeah there was always a boat there huh when did this get here 
I'm trying to think. I think it might have always been there. I'm pretty sure it was. I just didn't really think about fixing it up or anything. Eyes to see. Maybe when I visited that strange place, the veil hiding this pot was lifted. So maybe it was magically Peesh. hidden. Don't know. Is she even seaworthy? I better fix it up before trying to sail anywhere. Okay, so two silver, five iron, fifteen wood. That should not be a difficult fix. It's just that I do need like iron for literally everything. And I just haven't done anything on my farm today because it took me straight to the festival. I probably should have done it before I went to the festival, shouldn't I? That would have been the smart thing to do, but I am not smart. <laughs> there we are. There we are. Lovely. Well done. Need to get to bed. I think I could very quickly... I'm not going to worry about the cat today too much. Very quickly harvest these apples. And then very quickly head to bed. And that's going to be the end of the episode. What an episode though. Harvest. Uh, sorry. Summer festival. Weird. Uh, trips. Transport trips to weird places with weird fey folk. Who are probably really nice. But they do have back to front legs somehow. Time for bed. <laughs> And one's a werewolf, and one's a pixie thing, and one's, and one's a fairy thing. Oh, so much going on. So, uh, yeah, we need to do loads and loads of stuff that I didn't manage to do because of the, the festival. Um, we will get to that next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you all next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.